<laughs> good day, good day. How the hook are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan Owen. Have I got a one on Wednesday for you? Well, not so much one one, but we're going to open one. How's that? Oh, and we're going to bump the camera too. Sorry about that. We'll get that anchored down. All right. So this is going to be mini GT uh, topic. Um, my Joe exclusive as well as a USA exclusive. So, uh, the first one I bought, uh, was this one here. This was, I think the first one that came out as well. Um, and, uh, limited one of uh, 3,600. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at the back here. Uh, minus the glare, hopefully. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so, uh, this kind of comes to us from my, uh, friends, uh, Scott and Lindsay, uh, Cleveland, uh, just uh, the other day I bought some from them and, uh, yeah, I think this is the only one that I, I, I got this one off eBay for like 15 bucks. It was pretty cool. But anyway, check uh, SC Diecast out. They, uh, pretty much, uh, <laughs> Uh, were uh, suppliers. I bought them uh, these items from them. So that was my first one, and I bought two from them so we could open one. And uh, the next one of this is coming out, and uh, Lindsay uh, let me know uh, here last Saturday at the club meet that the uh, dirty ones are on the way. She ordered some of them, and I said, well, go ahead, put my name on one. <laughs> so... I think she'll set a couple aside for me. So this is it. Um, these, I don't believe, no, they're not numbered, uh, which, you know, they could be because this one is um, 3,600. Uh, very, very nicely detailed. Love this, love this. So the second one that I got was this one here, and I didn't realize this is 1,200. Um, uh and I only have this one, so we're not opening this one. And then I don't know, with 1,200, I don't know if I would open any more uh, if I, I did have more than one. But anyway, so here's the uh, second one in my collection. And, and I'm, I don't have the um, full uh, thing yet. I, I These are kind of spendy for me, 15 bucks a piece, if not a little bit more. Um, apparently, I don't know where I got this one from. Because just this last Saturday, I bought two more from Lindsay because I didn't think I had this one. <laughs> I think maybe I got this one off eBay. I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe I got it from Lindsay. I don't know. I would have bought two because they would have they would have helped me out. So anyway, so that's what I've got there. So um, I don't think these are uh, individually marked. Like I say, these are this this one. The Red Bull uh, Luca is uh, three thousand. So less than that one, more than that one. Uh, but anyway, the point is, is we have um, three of these buggers. And so we're going to open one of them. And I'm just taking a quick look. I didn't actually look at these to say, not that uh, it seems like there's a real big deal with errors or anything like that with these mini GT, their quality control is outstanding and their quality is just outrageous so uh yeah so but you know when you're paying 15 dollars for it you're not only paying for all this packaging you're paying for quality so now set let's get at it i'm gonna kind of move these back just a little bit because i got to get over here to the side of the counter here so i can get all the way down here oh i hope i have a sharp enough blade in my box cutter here to slice this open without slicing anything that I don't want sliced. Sorry about the uh, non-picture of the picture here, but we're going to slice this baby open and uh, retrieve our prize. So what I do here is uh, I, I just cut the bottom of it so I can open it up. So then uh, I, I save the packaging. Uh, I've got to get something. This guy can be getting a little dusty or whatnot. Uh, I remember the first video, I don't know if I'll tag it or not, but I had to wear gloves because I was so whatever about it. <laughs> so anyway, that is wore off. I'm just, I just, I did wash my hands before I got on air here. But uh, yeah, so 
anyway, let's get right to it. Um, we don't really, the, we're going to save the packaging, like I said. We'll see the whole background there. I don't know what that is. It looks like a Ferris wheel, and I don't know who that is. I don't know. Uh, okay, so uh, then here is the box. Uh, 110. The Red Bull Luca. There's the Choking Hazards, age 14 plus. True Scale Manufacturer Miniatures. Hong Kong, China, made in China. Uh, yeah, here's the little ditty there. Yep, yep. So that's the box that you can keep it. Now, as far as I know, yeah, that that will fit this whole thing. The carriage and everything will fit in your box, so it's not just like uh, loose banging around in there. So that that's kind of cool. So uh, yeah, let's just set that right there. All right, let's uh, gingerly get this bugger out. So you can see it, so it's got a little thing on the top there. Are we in focus or not? Come on now. There's a little button thing on top. So we're just gonna pull that out. You can see we got that little thing on the top. That just sets right on top. So we'll throw that aside so we can, and that is double. I don't know if that's normally that way, but that's double uh, clamshell in there. I, not sure what the deal was there, but that's all right. All right, let's get to the model here, Dan. Hey, matter of fact, I'm going to lower down here a little bit so I don't drop this bugger. Black on black on black. Yes, uh, this is just magnificent. Try not to touch the bodywork. Look at the front end on that thing. Wow. Wow, that is nice. Uh, glass headlights in there. Um, Painted turn signals. It does have a uh, the badge uh, colored, but not really detailed. Uh, defender on the uh, bumped out front grill there. It's not on the hood. It has the uh, Red Bull, obviously the logo Red Bull on the on the uh, hood. Very very nice. Yes yes. Let's tip it upside down and take a look. Yeah, plain old basic uh, Mini GT made in China love these wheels love those wheels those are great great wheels yes so here's the driver's side does have a little side mirror they are um they have a i don't know a little piece of foil on there or whatever to uh emulate you know mirror but just a sharp clean interior now this has got the roof rack uh from the camel trophy but it doesn't have like the the badge in the middle the camel trophy badge in the middle uh it has the uh stork, snorkel on this side on the passenger side the uh the other one has it on the driver's side um so that's that's something different that's cool that's a whole nother tooling and all that placement so really kind of cool i want to say yeah that this is a different roof rack altogether. Now that I'm looking at it, um, the front end and everything is totally different. It's not the same. We're gonna jump up here and take a look. That is not the same roof rack. They aren't just taking the roof rack and not putting the goodies on it. That's a whole nother roof rack. Yeah, totally, totally different. Um, yeah, you can see that the supports on the Camel Trophy has several several supports i gotta put these down before something happens but do you see all the many heavy duty supports that it holds the uh the camel trophy roof rack on this one is just sporting you know a, kind of a lightweight type uh deal so that is totally the, no ladder on the back which the camel trophy done does but uh it has the tail lights and all that good stuff the uh re receiver there uh, I don't know. Are they going to come out with a trailer then? What's the deal there? Uh, so yeah, very nice. This is kind of, um, this is like a matte finish. I would say, yeah, this is a matte finish, clear windows. Beautiful, beautiful. This is really nice. I, you know, I, I complain about, or, uh, bring up the fact that these are $15, but, uh, like my friend champion DJ K says, uh, they're worth it. Yes, totally, totally worth it. They are. Um, yeah, so really, really kind of cool. I would suggest you buying these. Uh, they are, you know, uh, 
I don't know how you know much of a collector's item they will be, being such a small run. Um, but you know the Land Rover uh, Camel Trophy definitely will increase in price because of the Camel Trophy. That's my opinion. Um, this one I would think would be just as good because of the branding. You know, Red Bull is super, you know, internationally um, recognizable. So. Yeah, just awesome, just awesome. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, unboxing of a one on Wednesday, although <laughs> I got three of them now. I can't believe it, but yeah. So give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Go over to Facebook, Roverland. Uh, Instagram is Roverland Channel. Let me see yours and uh, tell me what you think, all right? All righty, this is your friend Dan O. And I'm out of here. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.